Good day, everyone. Uh, very nice to be here today, even though not uh, physically. My name is uh, Yoav, and I'm from Aerobotics Company. At uh, Aerobotics, we use drone technology and models to provide uh, information about uh, the performance of your crop. The information that we provide is to the tree level or to the vine level. All the all the those tools available for any tree crop as well as vineyards. And, um, and basically the idea is to fly your uh, orchard, to get uh, those uh, maps, those reports, to take action based on those reports and then to refly to measure the changes over time. Uh, the entire process is very easy. We, use, uh, we work with local uh, drone pilots. They come to the property, they, 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 they fly the orchards. We get the data on the cloud, we analyze the data we identified variation and risks in your orchards. And I come to your farm, we sit together, we go through this uh, very detailed report, which includes uh, what we identified, quantified, how many trees in each block are underperforming, how many trees are suffering from water stress, or et cetera. And we provide recommendations on how to uh, fix, how to rectify those issues. Once this uh, have been done, we refly those blocks to measure the changes over time and to make sure that we are on the right track. And the entire idea is obviously to optimize uh, yield and to reduce variation on a block level. We're not here to create a beautiful maps for you to, to put in your office, but rather to really helps you to drive and take actions based on the insights that we identify. Uh, again, don't have heaps of time today, so I'll only show you a few examples of maps that we provide. The first one is a high-resolution RGB visual of your uh, orchard, uh, which we then use to provide the tree sensors for each uh, in every block of your orchard, so you know how many trees you have, how many are missing, and that could be uh, exported into a really nice report per variety as well. The next one is uh, using a multi-spectral sensor. We provide tree health map so that you know what areas in each block are underperforming. Also, there is a tool that allows you to quantify how many trees are affected by this trend issue, how many trees uh, are, uh, are suffering from phytophthora and, and so forth. And the last one, the last thing that I will touch on today, which I want to focus a little bit more, is the water stress analysis. Basically, when the drone flies, we measure the temperature of each and every canopy in your orchard. We then apply a few models to calibrate that based on the embryo temperature and based on the actual size of each and every canopy to provide you this uh, colorful map, as you see here on the right-hand side, whereby a blue dot represents tree that transpires a, a well, so photosynthesis, and transpires uh, well, and uh, orange and, and yellow tree are trees that are a, a bit stressed in terms of, uh, of uh, irrigation. I will now uh, jump into the platform and for the last uh, minute uh, or 90 seconds that I have, I will show you uh, a few examples uh, from, from uh, one example from the platform, specifically on the irrigation side of things. So this is a citrus orchard, Northern Hemisphere. It's, this is a navel block. Uh, we've mapped this uh, orchard quite late in the season, in, in late April. This is the visual, the RGB. It looks fairly uniform. It looks a bit lighter here, but nothing too drastic. And the grower wasn't aware of any issue. Then we applied the, our models and the transpiration product provided us the, the following uh, uh, image. And you can definitely see that the midsection is uh, transpires uh, well. So three trees are in, in a good uh, uh, water uh, status compared to the Western valve and the Eastern valve, which was the, the most uh, severe water stress as can be seen here. And you can see the distribution as well. So what we did here, long story short, uh, was to recommend the grower to flash clean the drippers. He did so three times and he also adjusted the pressure in this valve in the eastern section. And then uh, we mapped this block uh, twice. And uh, I'm jumping to the last uh, mapping from, from late April, sorry, from late uh, August. Sorry, it's loading. 
uh, but you can basically see that the, the variation shrinks. It's quite hard to see when we look at, uh, at one, one map, but uh, if you look at it side by side, you can see that the variation shrinks. You can see here on the distribution, and uh, also you see that more trees are blue and less uh, orange. Uh, this block has been, has been picked already, and uh, there was a 10 tons uh, to the hectare difference between uh, this valve and to this valve. So I think that uh, comes to, to show the, the value of this product and how important it is to, to measure uh, uh, this uh, uh, irrigation uniformity distribution early in the season, as early as possible to remediate uh, those kinds of, uh, of risks and anomaly. We are now very busy doing uh, those uh, uh, mapping uh, as an uh, irrigation audit product in, uh, in your area as well, citrus, uh, almond, and vineyards. So uh, if you find this uh, of interest, feel free to reach out to me and we can uh, discuss further. Thank you very much.